I was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. I remember dreaming and praying that I'd be alive long enough to play Survivor again. And so it is a miracle that I'm sitting here today. Welcome back. Joining me is a man who is the definition of Survivor. He took home $1 million from Survivor Africa, and he beat cancer twice. It's Ethan Zahn. Hey, how are you, buddy? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Thanks for having me. You look better than ever. You were crowned the sole survivor on the third season of the show, played again in the All-Star season in 2004, and you're back competing in Survivor 40, Winners at War. What made you want to compete again so many years later? I mean, can you believe it? Like, it's almost <laughs> been 20 years since I've been on this show. You know, last time I played, there was no idols. There was no hidden clues. There's no ways to get back in the game. No blind sides. I never played with a blind side. Um, but yeah, totally, when I got that call to come play again, I was excited about the opportunity, but a little bit nervous because of some of the health challenges that I've been through. So for me to be able to get back to a place in my life where I'm mentally and physically, spiritually, like, ready to go out there and play this show uh, was just a blessing. And uh, so just getting to the starting line of Survivor 40 was, you know, winning for me. Well, it's wildly impressive. I mean, coming back in the game, did you feel like you were out of touch or did you have to brush up on some skills? You know... I felt I was a little bit out of touch, but of course I watched every single episode leading up to 40, and I did the best that I could to prepare myself. You know, my wife and I, you know, she was hiding idols for me in the in the forest. We live in New Hampshire. You know, I was training, biking, puzzles, you know, reading personality books, like uh, lip reading. I was doing everything in my power to try to, like, get myself to a place where I could go out there and play against some of these new schoolers. Well, what lessons are you taking from your past experiences to winners at war? I mean, you've won it, so you're a pro. So what are you taking from there to here? <laughs> Well, the thing about this one, everyone is a pro. Everyone is coming back with a pretty incredible resume. You know, but I truly believe that at its core, Survivor is a game of relationships. It's how you work with the other people, how you interact with the other people that determine how well and how far you'll go in this game. And that's the way I played in Africa, and I wanted to bring that kind of relationship building, the social game, into season 40, because when it comes down to it, in the end, people want to vote for someone they like. It's, and it's a likability type of thing. So I thought I, I could have a, a pretty good chance going forward using my social skills. Well, it's definitely mental and physical. I want to play a clip from the Winners at War trailer because, as you mentioned before, it's different and there's absolutely a couple of twists. Let's watch. 20 returning winners face the return of the edge of extinction and encounter a new twist that will completely reset how the game is played. Plus, they're playing for the biggest prize in reality show history. How about $2 million? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how about $2 million? What would you do with $2 million? I mean, I'm That's, laughing right now. It's insane. It's insane. What would you do with the two mil? Oh, my God. There's so many things that I would do. Uh, I'd probably build an entire wing of my house just for my cats, you know? And, you are uh, my God. I would enjoy that. <laughs> you know, obviously, I'm a big charity guy, so I can't necessarily say I wouldn't use the money for charity because just that's my thing. Uh, but, you know, the, the two million thing was unbelievable because no, everyone went into the show assuming it was just going to be the traditional one million dollars. And then Jeff's like, oh, yeah, one more thing. It's two million dollars. And everyone just cheered and screamed. And we were just so pumped. I mean, listen, biggest prize in reality TV history. Tell us more about these fire tokens in the new season. How is that going to play into it? I mean, that's it's a new twist, right? And I think it's unbelievable how Survivor keeps coming up with these uh, interesting ways to get people excited to watch the show as well as players. You know, this is a new twist for all of us. So as the fire token concept moves forward in this game, it has, a, it has different ways it's used. And so I think it's going to be really exciting for the fans to watch. And not only that, the next seasons, if they bring these fire tokens back, the, the new players are going to have a lot, of, uh, a lot of ability to see how to use it, what's the right way to use it, some strategic ways to use these fire tokens. But I don't think the actual, it's, it's been fully developed yet. 
Well, I want to get to the nitty gritty because as you said, listen, you're a champ and you're a pro, but you're also with other champs and other pros. So who is your biggest competition, do you think? <laughs> Everyone's our biggest competition, but I felt a little bit more, not the word intimidated, but nervous to play against what I'd like to call the new schoolers. You know, if you look at how they split up the contestants, they got about six people played old school, which is before season 20, 14 players after season 20. And so this is a whole new era of the game of Survivor. It is fast paced, there's idols, there's clues, there's ways to get back in the game. It's like warp speed rocket fuel. And so I was just, uh, know that going out there, my strategy was like I wanted to have my roots in the old school, but also try to kind of tap into these new school players as well. Um, but you know, I'm humble enough to know that I was gonna need help along the way. And so for me, I still believe in alliances and uh, that was important for me to find some folks that I could align with and go to the end of the game together. Well, speaking of which, when you first got on that boat at the start of the season, who were you hoping or at least expecting to ally with? More the old schoolers or hoping for the new schoolers? You know, I was more excited to kind of like, I'm not necessarily like the A-type personality, like the, the guy who likes to bark orders and be the, the center of attention. That's just not my thing. So I know that I feel most comfortable like as the guy behind the guy. So for me, it was important to find people, whether they're old school or new school, to align with that were the bigger threats. So I could kind of just lay a little bit low and be the assistant coach out there. Very smart, start, smart strategy. Now, Boston <laughs> Rob and his wife Amber are both competing this season. Does that worry you at all? <laughs> well, it's interesting because as we were driving up in the boats, you saw it was just guys. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, it's men versus women. And then we land on the beach and then the other boat comes up. I'm like, and you see Amber hop off that boat. It's like, oh my God. I think I even tapped Rob on the shoulder and I said, dude, you got your wife out here? Nice <laughs> job. Like, I was like, uh, I was happy for him, but then again, I was scared because that's a power couple, obviously. Trust is important, but then again, I'm like, someone's gonna try to split them up because you know, who wants them to stay together for the whole game? My philosophy, when I first saw them out there, I'm like, okay, they're both old school players. If I happen to be on the same tribe, I think I can work here. I can work with these guys. I mean, the season just looks absolutely incredible and exhilarating. If you could sum <laughs> up this season, though, in three words, what would they be? Total mass, I don't know, I mean, it's like mind blown is what I'm going to say. I don't know where they go from here after this season. Like, I don't know how you can have a season 41 and a 42 after season 40. I'll put it that way. Hey, I'll take more than three words. Ethan, thank you so <laughs> much for chatting with us today. We look forward to seeing you play everything out this season. Good luck.